In this lesson, we will learn about terminating and repeating decimals. Here we have 2 into 1, or 1 divided by 2. In order to do this, we can put a decimal place and some zeros, and I can put as many zeros as I want. I'll just start with 2 there. Bring my decimal straight up. How many 2's are in 1? There are 0. How many 2's are in 10? Well, there are 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract and it comes out even. So our answer is 0 and 5 tenths or 1 half. So 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. That makes sense. Here I have 2 divided by 3. So again, I'll put my decimal and a couple zeros and then I start my decimal straight up. And how many threes are in two? There are none. How many threes are in 20? Well, three times six is 18. That's as close as I'll get, so 18. And then I subtract. And when I subtract, I get two. So then I bring down a zero. Now, how many threes are in 20? Well, six. Six times three is 18. Subtract. And again, I'm going to get 20, and I will keep going like this forever and ever and ever. So we can round this. Well, let's go one more time here. This would be another 6. 18 subtract 0. So I'm going to actually round this. I can round it to either 0 and 6 with the line over it. Okay, and that tells me that it's repeating. Or I can round it to the nearest hundredths. And let's see, this is the hundredths place. That six tells that to go up one. And I can make that zero and 67 hundredths. Either way. And that's the end of this lesson on terminating and repeating decimals.